Hi guys, Mark Taylor from yourinternetbusinesslink.com. Um, I wrote a report about three, four months ago now called Going Pro. Um, it's, it was put, given away as a bonus as part of the uh, magnetic uh, formula, which you can is available on my website at uh, http um, yourinternetbusinesslink.com. However, um, what I really want to talk to you about today is getting stuff done. Um, and I've called it, in friendly terms, the rules of engagement. Um, I was in the Army for 14 years, and uh, during that time, uh, we were given, if ever we were in an operational theatre, we were given a card. And on that card, it was really just simply um, a set of rules um, that, we, that were clear, uh, that really allowed us um, whether to we could engage the enemy or not. Now, I'm not sort of talking about uh, your target market being the enemy. Uh, but what I am, what I think the enemy of uh, most people who are creating content um, and marketing online, the enemy is time, and the enemy is really getting stuff done and dis distractions. Distractions are the key thing that people suffer from. So I really want to talk about getting stuff done uh, and how you can be more pro proactive. Now these are just a few rules, and I would love you to uh, leave your rules uh, in the comments below, uh, and of course we can add them to the to the overall document. That'd be cool. So before we go into it, let's talk about uh, your actual content and the time and the effort that you're going to be putting into it. Now, the way the internet is uh, made, if you're going to be producing documents, PDFs, uh, videos, audios, whatever you're going to be producing, podcasts, then let's be upfront. And the, the content you want to put in should be, you know, of good quality, of offering good, you know, good value. And the content is going to be there for a long period of time. So let's make sure that the content you put up is is all good. Now, rule number one. Now, rule number one is my favourite, really, which is turn off your phone. Turn off Twitter, turn off Messenger, turn off Facebook, come out of your email, turn everything off. And if you've got a word processor of choice, whether it be a Scrivener, whether it be Word, whether it be just a simple text document, whether it be you know WordPress, if you can pull yourself away from the internet and do something um, you know locally without being connected to the internet, then the temptation to uh, check your email, the temptation to uh, chat, the temptation to tweet is all t removed from the equation and you can really concentrate on the job at hand. Uh, I use uh, Scrivener, Scrivener, or however you want to pronounce it, it's a great tool. It has um, a real focus button where you can just go full screen and it really you know, takes out all the background, takes out all the distractions. It's nothing worse than a simple, um, you know, and a message popping up or even if your phone is close by hand and it's on silent, but it still lights up and it still vibrates when somebody calls and the temptation to look who's calling or in fact just the sheer, the distraction of your mind, it takes you out of the flow. So rule number one, turn turn it off. Rule number two, set a timer. Now, I, when I first started implementing this, I found it very difficult and it was hard to stick to, but once I got used to it, um, I realized that you know we can all be creative for around 25 minutes. I think it's, if you can't, um, if you struggle with 25 minutes, then, knock it down to 10 minutes, start at 10 minutes and just pull up the page, pull up your word processor of choice and then start typing. Start producing content. Just pour out of your head what's coming into it. So just put your thoughts down on paper. It doesn't have to be the finished article. This has to just this has to do with getting into the routine, getting into the habit, guys. And every 30 days or so, it takes 30 days to form a habit. So get a timer. This is not a new technique and I, I stole this technique. Um, everything, nothing's new. Um, from um, a website at pomodono.com. Uh, a simple website, but really with modern phones now, you can set your timer if you've got an iPhone, set it for 25 minutes, um, put it to one side. If you're in airplane mode, great. And let it run down 25 minutes while you're pouring your content to your mind into um, your word processor of choice. It's called the Pomodono technique. Set the timer, let it run. And when the timer's finished, that's when you finish, take a break. And that's, that's really rule number three. So let's move on to rule number three. You know, the break is really important. It does a couple of things. One, it takes you out. It doesn't matter if you're in mid-flow. If you finish your 25 minutes, get up, walk away, allow the creativity of your subconscious mind to work on what you've, been, what you've written. Go for a five-minute walk. If you really can't, you know, help, get yourself, you know, Twitter away, working on a post, whatever you want to put, um, send a Facebook update. But in reality, walk away from the content you've created so far and give yourself that little bit of time to recuperate and get the, the creative juices flowing again. It will allow you to reflect on what you've written and it will also allow you to uh, form some new uh, ideas in your head about, um, you know, for the, for the remaining content. Very, very powerful. Walk away, take a break, rule number three. Rule number four, my personal favourite, sit on it. 
You know, Stephen King was famous for when he writes his drafts, he would sit on his drafts for months, if not years, before uh, going into the edit, editing and the publishing phase. So what I'm going to say to here is if you're in the process, the Going Pro report mentions this, uh, which you can get, grab a copy of that by just going to your internet business uh, link.com forward slash going dash pro. You can grab a copy of that from the website. Um, what it will do is it talks about how you can go through this process, but when you create some content, if you're following the process, you will have content that you wrote yesterday ready for editing and publishing today. So sit on your content. It does a couple of things. What it really does is it one, it takes away the pressure of you having to feel like you publish. You know, it has to be the finished article, and that's something not to be sniffed at because um, the, the the thought of trying to be perfect, the thought of perfection, leads to procrastination, and then for, therefore you never publish. So create the content, get it all down uh, in in its main um, format and then you can go in and edit it tomorrow. So sit in it overnight. The subconscious mind will work on what you've written, um, and as you uh, you wake up in the morning, perhaps with uh, fresh perspectives, with fresh ideas, and you'll see glaring things that you probably wouldn't see <clears throat> during the, the, the moment of creation. So believe it, rule four, sit on it. Okay, rule five. Rule five is the editing phase and publishing. You know, without publishing, um, you're going to get nothing on, online. And there's so many uh, great people out there that write content and they never publish it because they think, oh, it's not good enough. Or, you know, uh, practice does make, it doesn't make perfect. Excuse me, perfection is, um, is an illusion. You know, so create the content, uh, get into the editing phase. So what you wrote yesterday, when you're ready to uh, sit down and become and, and edit your content, sit down, set your time on it. It is critical focus time. This is a critical part of any um, any business, any marketing phase. Produce the content, go in, edit it, clean it up. Make sure you add um, a link perhaps to you know other content that you've produced so you start to um, use internal linking inside your blog, inside your you know uh, medium of choice. Um, and understand that pros ship. They get stuff out of the door. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's, this is not the time to decide on what font you use or the graphics not good enough, etc., etc. Just get it edited, uh, title it properly, tag it properly, put it in the right category, and publish it. And really, that's it. There's five little golden rules. Uh, I'd love you to add some more rules. You know, rules from you would be great. So if you've got some, um, shoot me a, an email. Head on over to my website. Leave a comment underneath this video. And remember, guys, that productivity is the key. Pro ship. All right, so here's to getting stuff done. Take care.